one of these five common mistakes on your discovery call agenda? We'll keep watching to find out how to avoid these mistakes and what to do instead. Welcome health and wellness coaches. I'm Nick, your sales coach, your discovery call authority, and your exactly what to say certified guide. And I come to you every week with these videos teaching you what to do to improve your discovery calls, how to make these discovery calls something that give you the outcomes that you want so that you're getting more clients and helping more people. And I know sales can be challenging for health and wellness coaches because you're probably an expert in what you do in the health and wellness world, but sales might be brand new to you. Having discovery calls, maybe you've never done it before, but ultimately it's the thing that's standing in the way of you helping more people. And I know that's important to you. So although these five mistakes that I'm going to cover today are common, they are also very avoidable. So what I'm gonna to do today is cover what the mistakes are, how to avoid them, and what you should do instead. The first one that I see happen all the time, you're not being clear that it's a sales conversation. You've gotta be very clear when somebody's getting into a conversation with you, that there is going to be a component of the call where you may be making some recommendations and some of those recommendations might include your paid offers. So the person getting on the call doesn't have to say yes and doesn't have to say no, but they should be clear before they get on the call that there is a portion of the call that may be you making recommendations for your paid offer. So mistake number two is not pre-framing the call. Now that they know it's a sales conversation, now that they're getting onto the call with you, at the very beginning of the call, you wanna let them know the agenda. You know what you wanna do on the call, let them know. It helps them feel more comfortable. It helps them feel more relaxed. It helps them feel like they can open up in the conversation because they know what to expect and where the conversation is going to go. The third mistake I see is that you're turning it into a coaching session. A discovery call is not a coaching session. Your discovery call agenda should be to help the other person make a decision about whether they want to step into a coaching container with you. If you think about it, coaching provides transformation. Coaching helps someone transform their life and that doesn't happen in one conversation. So you're actually out of integrity if you're giving free coaching on the call because you're not there to fully support the person with the recommendations and the advice that you're giving them. Sure, on a discovery call, you can make some recommendations. You can let them know how your services can benefit what they've said and what they're, what they're looking for. But ultimately, you giving away free coaching doesn't help them and it doesn't help you. So reserve the coaching for the coaching container. What you are doing on the discovery call is you are coaching them into making a decision. Now let's move on to mistake number four, not connecting your program, your offer to their desires. You've got to be able to make the connection. They've got to be able to see what's in it for them. Why does stepping into this container with you help them? Because people make decisions for their reasons, not for yours. They're not gonna buy your program because it's for sale. They're gonna buy your program because it's connected to what they want. It's gonna help them get closer to where they want to be. So your job is to uncover that, to find out what their desires are and make sure that you can really help them and then connect their desires to what you do. And one of the best ways to do that is you've gotta listen. You've gotta listen in the conversation and you really are making recommendations. So what I want you to do is never, ever, 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 ever make a recommendation for anybody unless you can say this. Because you said X, I recommend Y. Fill in the X and the Y, whatever they said, whatever their desires are, you are going to recommend the right program for them based on what they've told you. If you have the right program for them, if you don't, then you don't make that recommendation. Again, we don't wanna be out of integrity and recommend something to the other person that isn't actually going to help them, that isn't actually what they need. It needs to be a mutually beneficial decision. It needs to work for them and it needs to work for you. And the fifth mistake that I see people make in their discovery call agenda is not asking for the business. I get it. You're a little nervous. You're a little scared. You're circling around and around and around. You're like, when do I actually do this? When do I ask the question? When do I say let's work together? Well, here's the thing. I see so many of you getting off the call and never asking at all. And that is not serving the other person. And it's certainly not serving you. Take that person through a process that will uncover their pain points and their needs. Because if there isn't a need, there isn't a sale. So you've got to uncover the need. And then you've got to match that need to what you offer if it is in fact the right fit. So you always want to make a recommendation based on something that they said. And by the way, if you can't say that phrase because of the fact that you said, then you shouldn't be making a recommendation anyways. You're not coming there to sell somebody something. You're coming to a discovery call to find out if the need is there, if the fit is good. And once you've determined that and they feel aligned with it as well, 
then you can offer up because of the fact that you said X, I'm going to recommend Y.